How do you see this law playing out? I think it's going to play out very well. Um, it is going to actually help make victims whole. Uh, obviously, you cannot make someone whole with their parents being lost, um, but at least get them on the right track and financially help them out as, this, as they go forward through their recovery. So there are a lot of different states that are looking at this law. It was first passed in Tennessee, but it's being looked at in, I believe, over 20 states right now. But there, is there anything specific in Texas that stands out to you? I haven't seen the other states' laws, but with our state, something in particular is the remedy for if someone does not pay or uh, if they are unable to pay is built into the law. So if someone goes to prison for intox manslaughter, then they will uh, be required to start paying within a year of getting out of prison. And then if they refuse to pay or don't have the ability to pay, uh, the Texas law allows for civil judgment to be held against the defendant, and they have those routes to actually recover the restitution. So the victims can take them back into court if that happens? Yes, and they probably most likely will. Yeah. So that's, would that be required? or just a uh, Probably not a requirement if, if they pay. Um, but if they're not paying or not meeting their obligations, uh, they can have a judgment against um, the defendant that they can use in court to actually get restitution. I think the only other thing would be uh, the law in Texas states what um, is required by the court to consider when applying restitution and adding that restitution up. Um, and that's the welfare of the child, whether uh, the spouse was the sole provider for the family, um, the education, what the child is used to in his living accommodations. Uh, it's all outlined in law, so I think they did a good job of actually researching what needs to be happening and requiring the court to do that.